Hashem wants the world to be uplifted. He wants the world to be ideal. And we are his messengers, his agents to, to get it done. Everything that we are asking for, why are we asking for it? For what purpose? What For what? To make our lives better? Could be. But what's the purpose of life? Why is it that we're asking for all these nice things to make the world a better place and so on and so forth? So the simple answer is that we spoke about before is that it's not so simple, by the way. It's still deep. It's still deep. We can go deeper. Is because that's what Hashem wants. Because Hashem created the world, Lahetiv al to, to do good unto His creations. He wants to give of His infinity unto others and let them enjoy the infinite good. So Hashem wants the world to be uplifted. He wants the world to be ideal. And we are His messengers, His agents to, make, to get it done. So we're not only performing acts to improve the world, but we're using our words in place of temple service, to say, Hashem, bring these things into the world like is your desire. But what's, but again, what's the purpose? What's the ultimate purpose? The ultimate purpose is because Hashem wants to have a relationship with us. Now, when we say that Hashem wants to give of his goodness to us and Hashem wants to have a relationship with us, these two are one and the same because the relationship that Hashem wants to have with us is of him giving to us. However, the irony is, as we spoke about many times, in order to receive fully what Hashem has to give, we have to make ourselves as similar to Hashem as possible, which means that we must be givers. So in the relationship between Hashem and us, He gives us the opportunity to give to Him and to serve Him. So by emulating Hashem in being givers, we come close to Hashem in a spiritual sense where closeness is likeness. We become godlike and therefore close spiritually to Hashem. And then we are capable of receiving what it is that Hashem is giving. It's about the relationship. So the Shema Kolenu is Hashem, hear our voice, hear all these things that we are asking for, because this is what you want. This is everything that you wanted us to bring into the world. This is the fulfillment of the whole purpose. Mashiach, in other words, Mashiach is not the last bracha, right? That's Tzemach David, which we did last week. Yerushalayim, the ingathering of the exiles. All these things are very nice. Justice. But that's not the end. The, oh, Mashiach's here. It's over. No, wait, there's one more thing. Shema Koleinu. Meaning, what is all this meant to bring about? This utopia that's going to be brought in by the era of Mashiach. It's to bring about closeness with Hashem. So now it's just Shema Koleinu. It's just hear my voice. This brings us back to something we said way, way back in the beginning. That why do we whisper the Shema Esrei? Why do we say it in a very soft voice? Is because we're meant to imagine that we're in such a close embrace with Hashem. Like an intimate embrace with Hashem that we're just whispering right into His ear. Like a husband and wife in a very close embrace. We're speaking in a whisper to one another because we're, we're involved in intimacy. So here we are, Hashem. We've come all this way. And when the world is in the ideal state that we're meant to bring it to, we're going to be very, very close to Hashem. There's going to be a very close bond. And then Shema Koleno, Hashem can hear our voice in a whisper because we will have achieved that closeness. Rosh Schwab says like this, Shema Koleno, Hashem, just hear our voice. In other words, forget about, forget about everything else. We just want to be close to you. That's all we want. We want to be close that you can hear our voice and we can hear your voice. Shema Koleinu represents, says Rav Schwab, the closeness of the relationship that we desire, which is the pinnacle of and the purpose of everything that we were created for and everything that we've been working for and everything that we've been praying for is the closeness with Hashem. It's the crux and the pinnacle of everything else.
We just want to be close to you.